All right, hey, Shalom. Shalom. Before we get started, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakar Kodash. Uh, double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well and push out this word at a high frequency. Peace, safety, and much love to the elect members laboring around the four corners of the earth, giving all diligence to make their calling of election sure. Shalom. All right, Shalom, man. All right, we the brothers here from Great Millstone, Atlanta. Um, back at it in the spirit. Um, you know, me and the brother, brother we got the office of Gamali Ali here, uh, Lively Stone, and we're going to go into it. Basically, this, um, you know, we're doing a segment called Spiritual Interview Questions. Uh, this is the se second uh, segment, the second episode, and uh, we basically just going to, the question uh, concerning this segment is, is going to be, um, why do you want this job? You know? Like what? What? what uh, basically, in other words, why are you in the? Why are you in the camp? Why are you here? Why are you uh, out on the highways and byways? What's your motive? Yep. All right, because there should really only be one particular motive um, concerning this truth. You know, and that's to do what? To serve Yahweh by Shemayim Shai, feed the sheep, and, and gain salvation. That's right. Those should be your motives being in this faith. It shouldn't be to uh, to get women, to deceive the world, to um, to gain you know gain off of the brotherhood, um, to basically um, use this as a platform of power um, because you you lived a life where you got bullied and then you now now you come into the faith and you get a position now you want to abuse power. There's all kind of ulterior motives that certain men be having with this truth. All right, so, you know, the question is, why do you want this job? Or basically, why are you in the camp? So we're going to start in Luke 14, and uh, we're going to go to verse 28. It's Luke 14, 28. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first and counteth the cost? Mm -hmm. Whether yeah. Now, building a tower, that's symbolic of doing the work, labor, you know? You say, and sieve not down first, and count the cost. All right, go ahead. And count the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it. Right, whether you have sufficient um, amount of um, money to finish the job. That's right. right. So you got to ask yourself before you even get on the job, um, do I have enough within me, or do I have enough in my spirit to finish this course, to finish this job? Okay? These are questions... That, that, that you have to ask yourself when you're in this faith, man. You know? Why are you on this job? Why are you going out to the highways and byways every week and uh, teaching this word? Is it is it some other reason outside of uh, um, the, the right way? You know? Mm -hmm. Did you uh, just accidentally come into camp? Were you forced into camp? Yeah. Um, do you believe in this thing? Or are you using this thing as a platform to exalt yourself? You know, as you, is this just something to do to pass time or just to be a part of something? Like it's the YMCA or something? Right. You know, or are you really trying to build this house of David? You know, sincerely trying to wake men up, sincerely reaching out to the elect members and uh, and, and giving due diligence to uh, to get the job done. I got, you know? uh, I got something real quick. Got it. All right, because uh, really uh, it's, it's about your intent, okay? Which is kind of what the brother's going into is is what what's your intentions behind this truth, All right? Which when you go into that word intent, it says uh, the act. Wait, let me use. Uh, it says firmly or steadfastly fixed or directed. All right, as eyes or mind. All right, having the attention sharply focused or fixed on something. So like what what's your what's your direct what's your direct direct intent behind this truth? Okay. You know, uh even even as far as you know, in the world if you if you're applying for a job, okay, what are you going to use your paychecks toward? Uh, oh. Or like what do you the money that you're getting out of this job, what are you going to use it for? You're going to use it to get bitches mm -hmm. or are you going to use this money to invest in yourself? And, and and better yourself and and you know 
put it towards the right cause. Right. Toward, like, towards the righteous cause. Like, what is your reasoning behind wanting mm -hmm. to be in the camp? Yep. And, and to be honest, it, it, it's very well probably some men out here that don't even know why they in it. Why they a part of Great Millstone? You know, they just they ran across the truth, and it sounded good, and, and then they just went from there. All right, but but you know, you, there has to be a, a, a righteous motivation within you to want to do this work, man. Right. You got to be motivated in the right spirit to to be going out there, man. Because if not, what ends up happening is your motivation actually manifests. All right, your motivation of why you at the camp actually manifest over a period of time because you're not being sincere mm -hmm. right it's another driving force that's making you go down to the camp yep. you know so these are questions that that, that that must be asked you know within your own self man do you have enough to to to, to, to finish a uh, tower yep. you know let's go uh, back to it yeah it's uh i'll start at the top uh luke 14 and 28 for which of you intending to build a tower Instead so of not down first and count the cost, whether he has sufficient, it's like it, whether he has sufficient to finish it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, uh, you know, anytime you build something, all right, when you're in the planning stages, you have to consider the uh, finances, the budget. Okay? You know, what, what kind of budget do I have? You know, and, and spiritually, you have to think of that too. Okay? Spiritually, what? What's your limit? What's my limit? How can you know? How much? How much can I put towards this? You know, am I gonna go all in? You know, uh, verse 20, 29, Lest happily, after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it beginneth to mock him. And that's why certain yep. men that, that come into the camps and then they fall out the camps, they um they end up getting uh mocked. Getting mocked, yeah. You know, they end up getting uh, spoken about uh, because they started a, a particular job that they didn't finish. And it makes you look like a phony or like a fraud, you know, like a man that, um, you know, don't, don't, is not sincere about his labor, man, you know. And that, that's the same thing in, in his faith. See, when you come into this faith, you're supposed to have a mindset that I want to retire in this thing. You know, this is the company that I want to work for and I'm going to retire here. That's the type of mentality of my friend that you should have, man. You know, these are uh, spiritual, like you said, these are spiritual interview questions. And I got a quick scripture uh, mm -hmm. real quick. Yeah. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. It says, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which he has showed towards his name. So this should be a labor of love. You should love doing this job, man. You know how you got certain people that they get into certain fields not for the money or not not because of or the fame or the glory that comes with it. But the reason why they work this job is really because they love the job, man. Yeah. And there's a lot of people out here where you are asking, like, oh, what made you get into that? And they'll tell you, like, really, I just love it. It's just something that's in me that, that I just like. I like doing it. And uh, you got to like doing this thing, man. Like, you know, here it is. It's, uh, it's going on 2 o'clock in the morning. You know, brothers got to work in the morning and brothers got to, you know, handle their business. But we are doing the work, man, fellowshipping in the spirit. And we still going to get up, Lord willing, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, and handle our business. Huh. You know? That's right. It says, uh, for most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have showed towards his name. So this is an action. You got to show the work. Yep. You know? Yeah. Are you Are you qualified? Yeah, because your qualifications are, are, you know, your qualifications show whether 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 you want to do it or not, you know. You know, I hey, well, you know, I've done this, you know, because what do they what do they ask in job interviews? Your job history, okay? What have you gone through in the past to to be able to handle this type of workload? And the Most High has put us through all types of scenarios through our whole life. Okay, to be able to prepare us for this for this particular point, all right, and to be qualified to to be uh, uh, teachers and prophets and yep. men of the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, He's been prepping us That's right, brother. for this position. Yeah, uh -huh. it says which He have showed towards His name, and that He have ministered to the saints and do minister. All right, so you have to. This is a service. All right, 
and within this service there is one there is one motive all right to serve sincerely serve the the, 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 the brethren you know teach the word push the word you know seal your salvation you know through diligence through labors through uh afflictions you know through trials tribulations infirmities uh through faith patience you know moral integrity through studying you know uh late night studies late night lessons you know you have to secure your salvation with this work man you got to be a minister you know that's what y'all about shimao shah is looking for so understand why you why you desire to come into a great millstone camp because your motivation is uh because you got jumped by some little white kids in the neighborhood when you was a kid and right. you want to start you want get to back yeah get back at esau right you want to get back at esau is that your motive you know is that your soul motive should i say because I mean, we all want do. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we all want to get some get back mm -hmm. but that that shouldn't be your driving motivation your driving motivation uh, of course, you know, getting revenge, but also serving Yahweh by Shemal Shah. You know, being a servant for him and honoring the things that he's done um, to get to this point. And you got, you got some people, they'd be like, you know what, I'm proud to work for this company now. Okay. You know, I'm actually proud to work for this company. And they know the history. They know all the sacrifices that the owner made in order to get the, the job off the ground. Yep. And they appreciate the effort. And the sacrifices that they made and, and by them doing so they work their job with honor because of the owner yeah because with any job you apply to if you if you really want to impress the interviewer all right or or you you know you you working for a company you want to know the history man you want to know you know how this company started you know and, and you know the current situation of this company and honestly, I mean, this this is the best company to be a part of because it's it's growing, okay. And this this company is is, is the, I'm talking about the company of of Yahal Bashmi Al Shai. The the uh, and we can look up that word company too. Yeah, I get. But the the basically this truth is 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 beautiful, man. All right, this is the best company you could ever work for. All right, because it's everlasting. And it's gonna and it's gonna continue to grow and grow, all right. Yeah, I got it here. This is the etymology: mid twelfth century, large group of people, uh, society, friendship, intimacy, body of soldiers. Intimacy, body of soldiers. Wow. Yeah, yeah. that's heavy. Body of soldiers. Yep, that's why the Lord said in uh, Timothy, Second Timothy, He said. Um, you know, uh, endure hardness as a good soldier mm -hmm. of Yahweh Shah. You know, so this is a this is a company of soldiers. Yeah. You know, this is a body of soldiers. You know, and it's one forty four in, in the morning. Yeah. It says, uh, "Bread fellow, messmate, with together, bread to feed." <laughs> so a company actually feeds. You know, it actually feeds. Um, it's consumers, which the consumers are what? The elect, the men that hunger for the word. It's your duty to feed them, all right? And you feed them according to what? To the guidelines of the company, which is the Holy Bible. You got to feed them according to what the, what the rule books say, you know? So the, these are, are spiritual questions um, that can actually apply to your walk in the truth. And you got to understand, you have to know how to answer these questions as well. You know, it, 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 you know, why, why should Yahweh Shah save you? Or why should a job hire you? Yep. You know, why should, why do you want to work here? Mm -hmm. You know, or why do you want to be in a camp? These are questions that can be very beneficial. Um, and it, it gives you insight on how you should move when you're within the camp. Yeah. And, you, and you also have examples. You have veterans on the job. The God. apostles, the mm -hmm. elders, you know, the camp heads, the first, second, third, brothers that's been around a little bit longer than you. Those are who you who you can call your, um, you know, your veterans, you know, the ones that has the experience. They can tell you about, okay, this person is like this, that person is like that. You don't want to do this, you don't want to do that. No, that's okay, that's fine. You know, 
these are the things, man. So let's get a couple more scriptures because it's that time. Okay, Khan, Khan. I got some uh, Colossians 2 and 7. Rooted and built up, it's like a rooted and built up in him, uh, established in the faith, yeah. as he have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Yeah, you want to be rooted and built in Yahweh Shai and established in the faith. That's just, that's just like what? When you work for a company, you pretty much understand the company. You're rooted in the company. You know, you know why you are, uh, have invested your time and your energy in this company. Because you got certain jobs you may work with, you be like, now nah, this is going to be temporary, man. Because you don't see no potential in it. Yeah. You don't see no, you don't see no uh, true gain or no true benefit from this company. All right? But when you when you in this truth, you're supposed to see true gain and true benefit from you investing and in putting your spirit into this company. You're supposed to see that you can actually get something out of this, which is salvation, inheriting the world, the promises that was promised unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, rulership, uh, domination, women, agri uh, uh, resources, spiritual uh, access, being able to meet the owner, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim Shah. Okay? Having exclusive access to certain things. You actually see potential. In the company, so therefore you are dead locking. It's like, ah, it's, I'm retiring with this company, man. Yeah. They got a good, they got good benefits. They got a good 401k. Well, that's in the truth. I got it right here. You know. <laughs> you was 411. Let us therefore, let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, mm -hmm. lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Which we have plenty of examples of unbelief prior to us. The things not to do, and you still have men that. Do the same exact things, you know. But it say, let us therefore labor to enter into the rest. The rest is when we get in the kingdom of heaven, when we won't have an oppressor over us. We won't have um, people dictating um, our schedule and what we do and what we don't do. That's right. All right. People talking down on your name, talking down on your nation, polluting your heritage, yeah. looking at you like you're crazy. That, that's when the rest comes, man. So we yeah. got to labor to get there. Yeah, because I'll I say this, you know, the, the promotion is coming soon, man. You know, we're, we're working, yeah, kind of, we're working entry level, we're working entry level positions under your house shot. You know, we're being trained, really, we're being trained. Okay, we haven't even really started the job yet. You know, we're being trained under your house shot. He's, he's opening up his spirit. Okay, and he's, he's uh, you know, basically uh, showing us. The, the, the job manual, the job description, okay? And really, you know, we have, we're have we not really on the clock yet. We really haven't, you know, we, like I said, we're just being trained, but this is uh, Matthew 6 and 33. And this is, this is the main reason why we work, okay? It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all the things shall be added unto you. All these things shall be added unto you. So, just like the brother was bringing out, okay, we want a retirement, okay. We want, um, we want to to inherit a, the promise that was promised to our forefathers. We want that same thing, man. That's right. So, so we have to labor, man. We have to, we have to obtain that, okay, at all costs, man. Keep on working, okay. Michael two and ten. This is not our rest. All right, this we can't just you know sit back in Babylon, you know, like Apostle Ricard says, uh, uh, cool in the shade, sipping lemonade. <laughs> you know we can't do that, man, because this is this isn't the time for that. All right, we have to. Um, I'll, I'll read it one more time, uh, Matthew six and thirty three. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and His righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah, and that's that's the bonus package, man. All these things shall be added unto you. That's the that's the uh, benefits, man. Okay. At the end of your, you know, um, with any job package, right? You put in a certain number of years. With teachers, I think it's like thirty years or whatever. But you got certain jobs where you put in a certain number of year number of years, and they and then you're on salary. You no longer have to work. Yeah. Okay, and that's that's what we want. That's what we want. We want that benefits. We want that uh, that uh, 
retirement salary, okay? Yeah. From our works. That's right. You got it up. Con, con, you had you had anything else? Uh, that was, that was it. Con, con, you know. So that's that's probably gonna do it for that segment of uh, you know spiritual interview questions episode two. Um, why do you want to Why do you want to work for this job? So yeah, brothers, to ask yourself that question. Um, you know. Why do you want to? Why do you want to be a part of a great millstone camp? Why are you here? Why are you around? And if you can't answer that question, you got a problem. You got an issue on your hands, man. Because nobody's holding you against your free will. You know, nobody's holding. Nobody's telling you. Uh, uh, you know, you can't leave this. You can't leave great millstone. You know, nobody's telling you. You know, putting a gun up to your head and making you get down to camp every weekend. So. If you're doing it and you don't want to do it, why? Why are you doing it? Ask yourself that question. Why are you doing it, man? You know? If you, hey, if you if you think that the brothers that's in the camp ain't right, or there's something going on with them, you have free will to, to leave from up under them and just go do your own thing. You know? And that's that. You know, yeah. so ask yourself why you with these camps, man. You know, right. so with that, we're going to close out giving our praise and glory and honor. To Yahweh, oh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Bukhakadash. Double honors once again unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Uh, until the next time, you know, we say peace and safety to the elect men, women, and children. Hopefully this lesson was edifying. Shalom. Shalom.